This is Maasai Mara National Reserve, one of the most popular tourism destinations in Kenya and Africa. As one of the finest wildlife destinations in the world, Maasai Mara is home to the richest concentration of wildlife, including lions, elephants and rhinos. It is also home to the spectacular wildebeest migration, the movement of thousands of wildebeests from Serengeti into Maasai Mara and the largest of any kind in the world, which has been referred to as one of the seven new wonders of the world. It's a very, very important uh, asset that we have as a country uh, and therefore it was very important for us to link it. In terms of safari, we are actually the best in the world. But for many, many years, in fact, many decades, the Narok Sekenani Gate Road, which is the main entry road to the world-famous Maasai Mara, has been in a very poor state and literally continued to inflict deep pain on tourists and untold damage on tour operators' vehicles and discourage more potential guests from visiting Maasai Mara. We lost a lot for the last 50 years because a road which is supposed to take uh, 40 minutes sometimes takes eight hours or so because during the rainy season you know vehicles are stuck so you can't move you know and it's a wild area so it's also dangerous because uh, there are no camps or lodges on the way for a long time uh, the safari to Mara was said to be um, a safari to hell because People never knew whether they would ever make it. It used to take people the whole day to travel from Nairobi all the way to Mara. And some of them would never make it and uh, they'll spend the night in the cold. The most challenge we have been having this road is breakdown of the cars because of the crazy road. The cl our clans getting sick when you know, driving in the trains, the tires get worn out. I got stuck last time for like five hours. There was a couple of water have to be pulled by many trucks in order to get out. I went in the Mara from Narok uh, for many days and uh, the road to come was, uh, in my opinion, a little dusty and really with a lot of slopes and bumps. Uh, I think we were many times we have to, to slow down. I hope the government will do something to, to help and uh, to make the road more flat and, and easy to go to the Mara. I mean, we have a biashara, a curio, and we have a barabara to go to Masai Mara. The Angamoto is a barabara to Mara. It's a big deal. The barabara is a big deal. The biashara is a big deal because of this barabara. Because of this barabara, it's a big deal. 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 It's a but all this is about to change as the government of Kenya, through the Kenya National Highways Authority, Kenha, has embarked on upgrading this vital link road to bitumen standards. Initially, we only had the 23 kilometers which was paved out of the 82. So we had to ensure that at least uh, we do the pavement all the way to the gate, second hand gate. And do, by doing that, then we expect we are going to attract more. A few cooperating costs are going to be low, and that will now encourage tourism. When we came on the ground, the road was in such a bad condition, especially um, the last uh, 50 kilometers from towards uh, Sekenani, the, the game reserve, that um, vehicles preferred to drive through the bush and use the, the road itself. The Narok Sekenani Gate Road project was launched on the 7th of April 2017 by President Uhuru Kenyatta and is expected to be completed in September 2019. As this date draws closer, the benefits of a smooth, tarmac and all-weather Narok Sekenani Gate Road are simply going to be enormous. This project is funded by the, 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 the government of Kenya. It's 100% government of Kenya funding. Uh, through uh, the National Treasury Exchequer Releases and we are the implementing agency as Kenya National Highways Authority. The winding of the carriage is from uh, five 
uh, 0.5 meters to 6 meters um, so that uh, it will be able to take traffic on both the sides. It will also have a shoulder of about 1 meter on either side so that uh, as the traffic is moving, uh, people can also use the shoulder for cyclists, for pedestrians, for, and for other uses. This road is very key to us. The first prime beneficiaries is the Maasai community. A lot of them are rearing uh, beef cows, you know, so now they can get trucks and transport their animals to Narok or to Nairobi because there's a good road. People doing businesses, the women doing bid work, now can move their products, their bids from various locations in the between Sekinani and Narok, the other people who are doing farming that far, they can be able now to move their products. That movement of the people which is big is going to really 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 improve in the livelihood. Sekenani Gate Road covers a distance of 82 kilometers and is being upgraded to bitumen standards. The upgrading of the road will also include construction of drainage structures comprising of bridges across rivers Mkoswani, Mkoilale and Sekenani. Along the route, before you even reach the park, they are, the whole area is settled. So all these uh, settlements are going to really take advantage of the road uh, in terms of well, they can be able to move very easily and the health facilities that they have, you can, people they can be able to reach all those social amenities. So we, we are very encouraged to see that at least uh, uh, after a very long time, we are now uh, working on that road. We are at 75% completion and we expect uh, that uh, within this financial year, we are going to have that, the road completed. Upon completion, the road will boost the area's economy by opening up Narok County to the rest of the country and the neighboring Tanzania to viable economic activities. That road is a game changer in Narok. That's one single most important road that Narok has ever got since independent. It's going to open up, that region is going to open up Narok, also is going to serve as a regional entrance between Kenya and Tanzania. With tourism accounting for about 15% of the country's gross domestic product, GDP, raking in revenues estimated at about 75 billion shillings annually, and with slightly over 300,000 tourists visiting Masai Mara every year, the contribution of this road is no doubt a viable investment by the government of Kenya through Kenha. With infrastructure, then other economic activities boom and the tourism will boom. Driving from here to Narok is about two, two hours, and you can imagine a section of 82 kilometers won't take you now, without the, the, the stage improvement, it will take you even three, four hours. But with the stage improvement, that will be another one hour. So what that means is you can drive very early in the morning, start five, six from Nairobi, go to Masai Mara, spend the whole day in the, in the park with your family, you don't have to, to spend the night there, and run back to Nairobi. So that is the beauty of, the, of economic empowerment, the rural infrastructure. Tunaana usaidisi sana ya lami kifika huko kwetu, tunapata tunaana sasa si tunasapata usaidisi ya business yetu itaenda mbele, na hile kasi hata si tunafanya itakuwa, itakuwa juu, kwa sababu ya lami. Now, people can uh, you know drive from Nairobi from Naro uh, to Sekinani uh, without any fear that you'll be stuck during the rainy season because there is a good road where you can now move there is no doubt that once Kenha completes the construction of the Narok Sekinani gate road the road will play a very important role in the growth of our country's tourism sector and encourage more Kenyans East Africans and foreigners to visit the world-famous Masai Mara.